So it keeps getting harder, my being Count Dracula in the 21st century. It used to be an aristocratic time. Now it means nothing. On the contrary, people look at you as if though you were something odd, like if you were a relic from the past. Not a living creature that should be given faith to for its enormous historical transcendence and its great social hazard. Three centuries ago, it would be enough for me to recite the ladies with delicate verses, and they would offer themselves to me sweetly, and there they would expose their necks to the reach of my fans. I would introduce myself in the aristocracy, the political class. The blood was so pure and dense, days of deep and profound rest would await me at the dusk of my grave. Those were very tranquil rests. Nowadays, any asshole can be politically important. Blue blood, which is the one I like the most barely exists now. Only red blood remains. <coughs> Vulgar and full of barbarisms that have left me sick for the rest of my nights. If people found out that I formed part of the European aristocracy, I would appear daily on different European magazines. The paparazzi would follow me endlessly to photograph the places where my tormented soul rests. There's no direct contact with the victims anymore. Thanks to technology, everything has become a simple, ordinary thing. The romantic phases and sinister magnetic beauty of the moon are worthless now. You can catch all the diseases. Hepatitis, tuberculosis, HIV, cancer, even leper. Your liver will be finished off. Your heart will be destroyed. There are so many pubs now, it's easy for me to just go and suck the blood of the victims there. But the blood is so full of drugs and alcohol that they have made me sick, to the point where I might even lose my powers. I desperately need to suck blood that is not contaminated. Your blood. Satan will punish me if I don't continue killing! I like being in the Caribbean. It's full of beautiful adolescent girls that make me fall in love. It being a tropical and central place, they have many different types of cultures. They have many different types of appetizing blood. 
From the delicate Latin blood of rose tint, refreshment for vampires, passing through the robust Dominican blood. Purple and sensual. The delicious Haitian blood, refreshment for the walker. The soft, perfumed touch of Cuban blood, all the way to the multiracial Puerto Rican blood that as soon as it passes through the throat delivers a motley sensation that excites the soul sexually. There's nothing better than the blood of a beautiful adolescent girl. In the Puerto Rican arteries, I've even found traces of Indian blood. Probably the remains of an ancient culture. Humanity is losing all respect for life and turning the world into an example of vulgarity. Didn't you want to die? Consuming them. You are destroying yourselves. That's pathetic. Oh, that 15th century won't come back when those courtesans, very elegant and whorish women, would line up to offer themselves to me and I would do with them as I pleased. All I had to do was look them in the eyes and they would fall for me over beds over rocks, and if necessary, over dirt, without fear of damaging their skirts. In that 18th century, it was so easy for me to bite the ladies in the chest, and they would proudly exhibit that his excellence Count Dracula had bit them near the nipples. They enjoyed getting their blood drained, even if it meant going to the devil. The secret mysteries of the bloody fangs will be forever lost with me in the tombs of the graves. But my true demise started way before I picked you up leaving your little friend's house instead of school. I saw a marvelous young woman walking in the sand. Dove in without thinking. And she smiled a special smile. I was amazed at how such a developed woman had such a nice, sensual voice. As I looked closer, I noticed that she had done a facelift and had her lips filled. In those intimate moments, I didn't really care if it was a young woman, a young man, 
or even an old man with surgery up to the eyebrows. We started kissing like crazy. As I started touching her entire body, I slowly realized that she was really a man. What a shame. It had balls. But since all I wanted was blood and she was already there in my arms all nice and warm, I bit her straight in the neck and sucked out every last bit of blood. Oddly enough, I usually leave remains for the next day. She told me beautiful things while she was in agony. She said that I was the love of her life. She said that no man had ever shown her love the way that I did. She said she was willing to work for me at a bar in Manhattan and buy me an apartment with her life savings. She was 30 years old and weak due to a disease that the bureaucrats refused to cure. She died in my arms happy to be relieved of their disease. How humiliating. For all those years, I tried to give the impression of my sexual inclinations and that I was a man befitted as the first and best vampire in the world. But the transsexual had disrupted my most primitive of instincts and was destined to prefer the blood of men now, which had infected me with a deadly virus that would kill every last drop of pure blood I drank. If the celebrity magazines find out, I'll appear in all their covers for a consecutive year. People will ask for my autograph on the streets. From now on, I'll seek the blood of men in public places. What will the posterity say? What will my women say when they find out that their beloved Count Dracula dreams of men now? I don't care what they'll say. If necessary to save face, I'll dress in women's clothing. I'll get a facelift that'll take away thousands of years. Plus, I have gorgeous legs that will look thorough. I'll go out at night wearing lipstick and makeup. Plus, I'll join different beauty pageants and I'll win. I'll go on a tour around Europe and I'll join different drag shows and I'll hook up and suck the blood of executives, politicians and bureaucrats. Wait a minute. Where would I go with all these diseases? I can't turn into a vampire and fly away anymore! I get sick easily, my lungs are destroyed, my fangs are falling off! I don't even have the strength to deliver these bodies anymore. Miserable human. If even the undead are infected with your blood full of diseases and epidemics, what would you do to your children? Weak and mortal. Miserable humanity will lose with me its best, most attractive 
most powerful, most homosexual vampire that ever existed. Your fate will be as miserable as mine. I die weak, degenerated, ashamed, and stepped on like a miserable worm. supposed to keep up the rate of murders if I'm dying of multiple diseases can't you see how many have I infected without knowing no. I send you straight to hell no you must continue not anymore